Ow. All right, let's get started. This first test involves something the lab boys call repulsion gel. You're not part of the control group, by the way. You get the gel. Last poor son of a gun got blue paint. <laughs> <laughs> All joking aside, that did happen. Broke every bone in his legs. Tragic, but informative. Or so I'm told. Ah, uh, this gel is a sweeter, slightly less non-toxic form of fiberglass. You bounce. Luckily I didn't break my legs and that it's actually gel and not paint. Uh Where's the box? Do we get the box to come out? Oh wait. There. Oops. The lab boys just informed me that the I should not the raid. have mentioned the control group. They're telling me I ought to stop making these pre-recorded messages. That gave me an idea. Make more pre-recorded messages. I pay the bills here. I can talk about the control group all damn day. Um... We're just playing Portal 2. One of my favorite games. Replaying. Although I don't remember everything. Like I don't remember where to go. Oh wait, down here? Oh, that's where I came from. Down here. Are we playing Destiny? Wait, isn't this where we started? Bro, I just went to the start, didn't I? This, this, this is where we started. Oh my god. One big circle. Oh no, now I need the box. No, the box is there. Oh my god. It's a great game, yeah. Nice. Okay. So instead of dropping down, it's probably back the way we came. Oh yeah, next chest test chamber this way. Bro, I should just read the sign. See, I dropped down and went the well, this next test, we wrong put way. Particles in the gel. In layman's terms, that's a billion little gizmos that are going to travel into your bloodstream and pump experimental genes and RNA molecules and so forth into your tumors. <laughs> now, maybe you don't have any tumors. Well, don't worry. If you sat on a folding chair in the lobby and weren't wearing lead underpants, we took care of that too. <laughs> um... I need the box. Ah. Nice. Alright, so now we can...
Alright, need that box. Need like a running... There we go. Could, could use some more forward momentum. That open? Oh, back in the other room. Okay. Nice. Oh, in case you got covered in that repulsion gel, here's some advice the lab boys gave me. Do not get covered in the repulsion gel. We haven't entirely nailed down what element it is yet, but I'll tell you <laughs> this, it's a lively one. And it does not like the human skeleton. Okay, I'll keep that in mind, thanks. All these science fears are made of asbestos, by the way. Keeps out the rats. Let us know if you feel a shortness of breath, a persistent dry cough, or your heart stopping. Because that's not part of the test. That's asbestos. Good news is the lab boys say the symptoms of asbestos poisoning show a median latency of 44.6 years. So if you're 30 or older, you're laughing. Worst case scenario, you miss out on a few rounds of canasta. Plus, you forwarded the cause of science by three centuries. I punch those numbers into my calculator, it makes a happy face. Um... Like I can drop out of here, but exit over there, but I can't see what I can boot. Thought there was a way to get like the gel. Oh, there's something up there. I'm trying to remember, is that where I came from? I don't think so. I like your style. You make up your own rules, just like me. Bean counter said I couldn't fire a man just for being in a wheelchair. Did it anyway. Ramps are expensive. Okay. Maybe not. I should be able to jump through there. Oh my god, we're good. Just a heads up, that coffee we gave you earlier had fluorescent calcium in it so we can track the neuronal activity in your brain. 
there's a slight chance the calcium could harden and vitrify your frontal lobe. Anyway, don't stress yourself thinking about it. I'm serious. Visualizing the scenario while under stress actually triggers the reaction. <laughs> Come on, tell us about it. Now, if you're part of control group Kepler-7, we implanted a tiny microchip about the size of a postcard into your skull. Most likely you've forgotten it's even there. But if it starts vibrating and beeping during this next test, let us know. Because that means it's about to hit 500 degrees, so we're going to need to go ahead and get that out of you pretty fast. Um... Oops. Okay. We're going to make that distance. I could... Okay. All right, now we're. Although, I kind of think I need like forward momentum. Yeah. Oh. Bro. Should just. You know, been looking at that. Okay. I'm telling them, keep your pants on. All right, this next test may involve trace amounts of time travel. So, word of advice if you meet <laughs> yourself on the testing track, don't make eye contact. Lab boys tell me that'll wipe out time entirely, forward and backward. So, do both of yourselves a favor and just let that handsome devil go about his business. You just tuned in. Did I play the chess or just get this far in two hours? We got this far in two hours. Rem oh, I've played the game before. So it's not... It's not like it's... My first time playing or anything. Uh, well, I don't remember everything. That's for sure. Oh, wait. Uh, something like this. Nice. Trying to remember how to get. I want to go up there. Don't 
definitely need to like paint that. When I drop through, I bounce off that and go up, I think. So if I just... Oh! Do I need more height? Um... Trying to remember how to get more height. Fall from there, but really anywhere here. Oh, okay, that time it worked all right I thought that was it I don't know why it didn't work last time Keep bouncing. Need to spray it with water. Come back. Caught you. All right. Wash you off. Because you know, simple water just washes all that stuff off. Yeah, we're speed running this new speed run world record. Hundred percent. Congratulations! The simple fact that you're standing here listening to me means you've made a glorious contribution to science. As founder and CEO of Aperture Science, I thank you for your participation and hope we can count on you for another round of tests. We're not going to release this stuff into the wild until it's good and damn ready. So as long as you keep yourself in top physical form, there will always be a limo waiting for you. Say goodbye, Carolyn. Goodbye, Carolyn. She is a gem. Funny. The exit doors don't exist. Uh. Wasn't anything here, right? Is it out here? Ah. Oh. 
Cool. Uh, pump station beta. What's the orange one? Oh my god. Couldn't see it. Um. I mean, I need to be able to get across. Can't see around the corner. I need to be going fast through it already. Like, I know what I need to do. I need to be able to fall down and slingshot out. But I don't know how I get up there while having the portal there. It's the weird thing. another thing I can just portal to. I'll launch out of there, I'll hit the ceiling. There's nothing to launch out of here. I mean, I could do this, then the orange one like that, and that. Something like that. Oh! That's what I mean, like I've played this before but there's ones that I just don't remember. <laughs> They're like... What am I doing? Greetings, friend. I'm Kane Johnson, CEO of Amateur Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. <laughs> so, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best, and you're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's a test related. <laughs> uh, if you see an orange jumpsuit, hit the red button. Okay. Speedy thing goes in, speedy thing goes out. No! Well, 
wasn't speedy enough. Uh... Oh. Okay. How do we get more speedy? Can I like... Yeah, exactly. Oh my god. Ah! <laughs> Maybe not down there. Oops. Bro, all these test chambers going all the way up, I just realized. Greetings, friend. I'm Cave Johnson, CEO of Aperture Science. You might know us as a vital participant in the 1968 Senate hearings on missing astronauts. And you've most likely used one of the many products we invented, but that other people have somehow managed to steal from us. Black Mesa can eat my bankrupt... Sir, the testing? Right. Now you might be asking right. yourself, Cave, just how difficult are these tests? What was in that phone book of a contract I signed? Am I in danger? Let me answer those questions with a question. Who wants to make $60? Cash. You can also feel free to relax for up to 20 minutes in the waiting room, which is a damn sight more comfortable than the park benches most of you were sleeping on when we found you. So, welcome to Aperture. You're here because we want the best. And you're it. You're it. You're it. Nope. Couldn't keep a straight face. Anyway, don't smudge up the glass down there. In fact, why don't you just go ahead and not touch anything unless it's tested Um, how do we get more speed? Could do the same thing where I like go up and down, but I don't see how that helps. At least, wait, does going up from there? Yeah, it's not close enough. Oh wait, I'm supposed to pull that down somehow, aren't I? Wait a minute, there's, there's probably just some switch or some shit. Control room, up there. Oh. Hey, you're good at murder. Could you pop off sight? That's right. Did you feel that? That idiot doesn't know what he's doing up there. This whole place is going to explode in a few hours if somebody doesn't disconnect him. Uh-huh. And, and unless you're planning to saw your own head off and wedge it into my old body, you're going to need me to replace him. We're at an impasse. So what do you say? You carry me up to him and put me back into my body, and I stop us from blowing up and let you go. Cool. Wow, you stabbed me. What is wrong with you? Oh, do you have a multimeter? Never mind. The gun must be part magnesium. It feels like I'm outputting an extra half a volt. Keep an eye on me. I'm going to do some scheming. Here I go. Oh, where are we? How long have I been out? Ah. Huh. Nice. We need a GLaDOS. I forgot. I, I looked in the room, I didn't see GLaDOS. And there's no voice line. Maybe because Cave Johnson was still talking. <laughs> 